like the hamburger, hot dogs have a long, complex history with many stories more legend than fact. A standard definition of a hot dog is a cooked, that is, grilled, steamed, or boiled sausage served inside a sliced bun. There should be toppings like mustard, ketchup, and onions. Does the story start at the beginning of baseball or go back to the dawn of preparing pork for a long winter? The start date could be the time of the first ham, bacon, and pork chop. Our version of hot dogs which requires super processing is of recent vintage, but it started with the sausage. An Acadian cuneiform tablet had something of a description, intestine casing filled with chopped meat. A cod is on the west end of Mesopotamia with a start date of about 4,500 years ago. Homer mentioned blood sausage in the Odyssey, that's the story of Ulysses, as did other Greek and Roman writings. China had additional mentions of sausage from goat or lamb from 2,500 years ago. The Apicius Roman cookbook had a recipe for a smoked variety. It's reasonable to assume Sausages of various kinds were common across the Eurasian ancient world. Peasant farmers raised pigs and turned the pork into edible foods that would last from fall through the next spring. That included pork sausages. Methods and recipes varied by region. Butchers in medieval towns had their own recipes, as did aristocrat kitchens. That included over 40 types of bratwurst. A British specialty was the banger, a 20th century name. The story was the water content was so large it might explode when cooked. The uh, German connection was important. There was the dachshund or little dog sausage. Frankfurt may have been the original home of the Frankfurter. The uh, wiener came from Vienna sausage. Chaos in Germany resulted in migrants to America. Hot dog author Bruce Craig stated, hot dogs have been embedded in the American culture through folklore and commerce since the end of the 19th century, the term hot dog was applied to common industrially made sausage. Sausage vendors plied their trade throughout medieval Europe, especially at town markets and fairs. As Germans and other Europeans made their way to the U.S., they took their preparation and selling skills with them including sausages. Vendors thrived in cities, especially those with large German populations. No problem in New York City, which permitted pushcarts, but not in Chicago, which banned them. At the turn of the 20th century, baseball was considered America's sport. When stadiums were cold, what could be better to warm up than hot food? Peanuts, gum, popcorn, and soft drinks were not enough. Sausages were easy to cook, then put the link in a roll and add mustard. And vendors were selling Red Hots, the new food of choice for baseball. A cartoonist claims legendary credit for calling the new treat a hot dog. The original cartoon was never found, although a later one from 1906 shows a vendor selling five-cent hot dogs. Another legend was a Bavarian sausage vendor 
claiming selling hot sausages in buns at the new uh, uh, St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. Once again, there was no supporting evidence. Part of the hot dog legend was the large number of stray dogs in big cities and the claim they disappeared into sausage machines. Yale University had a kennel club lunch wagon, which became known as the dog wagon. That meant Yale could have been the source of the term hot dog. Technology changed sausages over the decades, making mass production possible. Hot dogs became emulsified, soft textured, and skinless. Food industrialization was big business after the Civil War. National brands led the way like Oscar Mayer and Armour. Seasonings typically included spices, paprika, corn syrup, pepper, and salt. The dog was cooked or smoked in the factory. Of course, advertising was critical, including Oscar Mayer's Wienermobile. Sausages must be cured or pickled, which normally would take weeks, then chopping, stuffing, and casing by hand, smoking, and cooking. Technology meant 20th century chemistry and machinery created the modern dog quickly, cheaply, and with consistent quality. Fast cure meant chopping simultaneously with adding chemical cure and spices, then quickly smoking and cooking done in hours. Producers like Oscar Mayer had bland recipes to sell millions, including to lots of children. Coney Island is an entertainment area on the beach in Brooklyn. What better place for a resort and boardwalk? Add three amusement parks and the need for lots of easy to eat food. An early legendary account was Charles Feltman as a hot dog vendor, but there was no evidence. He did set up a bakery restaurant called German Gardens on Coney Island in the 1870s, apparently selling hot dogs for a dime. Nathan's on Coney Island started with Nathan working for Feltman's restaurant, then going into business for himself in 1916. Nathan sold his hot dogs for a nickel. Both Nathan and Feltman succeeded until the Great Depression when Feltman went bankrupt. Nathan's expanded and the family sold a company in the 1990s. It currently has several locations and hundreds of franchises. In 2017, Nathan's became the official hot dog brand of Major League Baseball. July 4th now includes the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest run since the 1970s. What could be more inviting than eating as many dogs as possible in 10 minutes? The master proved to be Joey Chestnut with 74. Somehow that sounds like an American thing to the disgust of most of the world, but makes the news along with the fireworks. That's enough about hot dogs and sandwiches. But what about near sandwiches? It's time to talk about tacos and Tex-Mex food next time on Food History and Mystery.